Alright, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of these Kellogg's Nutrigrain Soft Baked Breakfast Bars. Alright, so this is normally $14.99. It was $5 off, so essentially $10. Um, I checked earlier, it's about a little bit less than $0.16 cents a bar. Hopefully that's right. Anyways, <clears throat> here you can see Kellogg's Nutrigrain made with real fruit and 8 grams of whole grains. 32 strawberry, 16 blueberry, 16 apple cinnamon. Right, and here you see naturally flavored with other natural flavors. So that means they put other things to make it have the flavor it has. Okay, 64 bars, 130 calories. I mean, if that's important to you. <laughs> For me, I don't really mind our artificial flavors as long as it tastes okay. But uh, everybody's on this organic natural thing. So anyways, here you can see it expires September 23rd, 2022. Uh, we bought this um, mid-March, I believe. So yeah. So that's, what's that? Five, six, six months? Six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, eight months. <laughs> is that right? September, yeah, no. <laughs> My math is so bad. <laughs> November, I was thinking November for some reason. <laughs> so six months, that was right. <clears throat> All right, so there you go. And, okay. All right, my math isn't really bad. I just, I'm just slow. <laughs> All right, here you go. And the packaging, basically about the same on everywhere. Here you can see the nutrition facts for each type of bar. They have some numbers at the top. I'm not sure that's like a model number, <laughs> but I don't know, item number. All right, there you go. Strawberry, blueberry, and apple cinnamon, all the same amount of calories. And you can see how many per uh, servings or how many bars per container in the container. Right, you can see somehow they match up uh, the stuff pretty closely. So the amount of nutrition and things are pretty close. They are slightly different, but uh, for the most part, they're pretty close. All right, you can see the ingredients for each one. They all contain milk and soy ingredients. So if you're allergic, make sure to be careful. Sorry, also they contain wheat. Um, and then you can read all the other ingredients in case you have other allergies. Okay. And you go. All right, so we've seen all the packaging. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what they look like. Sometimes the stuff um, that we buy is getting like smaller and smaller in size. So let me see if we open this, if these bars are the same size as I remember or if they're changing. I've, I've got these in the past. I don't know if it opens this way, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, I don't think we can open it that way. So you probably actually want to open it from one of these side parts or top or bottom, whatever. That's the bottom, not that it matters. Okay, so we'll pop it open like this. Oh, interesting, never mind, there's boxes in the box, so... Um, I guess it really didn't matter how you open that, because there's boxes in the box. So, two strawberry boxes, a blueberry one, and an apple one. Okay, so we'll set these over here, and let's go ahead and take a look at them one by one. Strawberry. It's probably like the same information. Um, they do label these each individually. So if you do own a store, you can actually so, uh, sell the box by itself like this, okay? And you get the same nutrition facts and all of that. So I'm not gonna like stick on to that too long. All right, anyways, they have, uh, let's see, there's an opening here. There's multiple openings. How do you, is there a proper way to open this? I'm gonna guess you punch this out or I don't know, there's multiple openings here. Okay, here you go. So there's this little cutout here, so usually that's like a thumb hole, so you do that, and then you can peel this up. But as you can see, it breaks weird. Okay, <clears throat> um, anyways, it's working. Then there's a little part that's supposed to fold here, but uh, yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna do it that way. And then there's this, that you can punch this in. Yeah, I don't really get what this packaging, how you open it like this, it doesn't work. So whatever, let's just rip it open. Alright, then we got these, and you can actually sell these individually, okay? So it looks like um, if you really wanted to, and you own a store, you can. these each have their own barcode. They're labeled for individual sale. You know, if you've seen those packages where, where they say not labeled for individual sale, that's what they mean. Basically, there's no barcodes to scan them into your point of sales to sell them just in case people were wondering what that meant right and here you can see um 
We've got all the nutrition facts and everything on here. They got all the ingredients on here. I'm getting a call right now, but they're probably going to have to wait. All right, they got all the information you need. Um, and I don't see an expiration date though, so I don't know if there's an expiration date on here somewhere. I don't see one. So if you were to sell this, I don't know how you would you would keep track of that other than you have to remember what was on the box. Um, there's this thing printed there, but I don't think that's an expiration date. Yeah, no, 1092C4, something, no. I don't think that's an expiration date. Anyways, um, I'll set that aside for now so we can open all of them and then we'll just eat them at the same time. All right, here's the Apple one. All right, you can see the same thing. They got the barcode there. And for people wondering why I kind of just show everything, because you never know what information people might need. If you don't care about this, you can fast forward over. Um, some people might say, hey, I have these in my store. I want to know what the barcode and stuff is. There's like all random uses and nobody else shows this kind of stuff. So why not? All right. Other than people not liking it, maybe. <laughs> all right. Anyways, that's the Apple one. Let's go ahead and punch this one open. There's this thing and we're just going to tear it because it's it's so difficult to open it properly all right the same thing with the apple one you get the barcode there you get that information okay same thing you get the ingredients all right and yeah i don't think there's a the the date is on this box somewhere i saw it <laughs> i probably tore it off or something oh here it's on the side so they do have that there uh, which is, wait, March 22nd? I'm confused now. So that's not an expiration date. I'm confused. Um, expiration date. What was it on this box here? September 23rd, 22. So is there anything with 9? Oh, maybe it's that. Okay, maybe it is September 30th, 22. Okay, but I don't know why they put, like, characters in the middle, if anyone knows what this CP thing is. And then this C is for, I don't know. Anyways, I'll set that aside. Let's go ahead and open up the blueberry one. Okay, you can see how bad the packaging is. It doesn't open easily. So if you want it nice for a display, you have to really take your time and like tear it out. <laughs> Here's the blueberry one. Okay, here you can see September 23rd. Wait, that maybe that's wrong because this is 23. So I, I don't really get how this codes work. I guess there's that's not the expiration date. Do that. And there's this. Okay, so let's go ahead and open them up. I'm going to eat them in the order that I'll probably like them from worst to best. So that way the final remaining flavor in my mouth is what I like the most. So we're going to eat the apple one first. I have, I'm, I'm, I like apple stuff, but uh, if I have to order it, that's how I'm going to arrange it. So the apple one I'm likely going to like the least. Oh, and let me actually show bar here if you want to see the size my hand size is pretty small in case you're wondering I haven't checked recently but I think my ring finger is like a 6 or 0.5 or something so my hands are small so keep that in mind if you're wondering that's like two fingers of my width of this okay and that's what the bar looks like anyways let's bite this open That's what it looks like inside. Okay, we'll set this aside. It's more um, oatmeal-y than I remember. Let's open this one. I don't know if I'm just remembering wrong or if they changed it to put more of the outer layer, outer casing. All right, this is basically the same thing. So let's take a bite. There's the blueberry. It's basically um, very similar to eating an oatmeal cookie with fruit fruit jam in it and no raisins. All right, so we're going to open this one and we'll give this a shot. Oh, the blueberry is good. I like it. All right, strawberry. Mm -hmm. Not bad. 
The blueberry actually has the strongest flavor of the three. We're gonna try the apple one again. Cause now I have all this flavor in my mouth already. I can barely taste the apple one now. All right, we'll eat this one again. Hmm. I like them. Everyone has different tastes. Personally, I love oatmeal cookies. So if you hate oatmeal cookies, you might actually not like these. Um, because it has that texture where you have that like... The oats and stuff that you're chewing up. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Um, just because the flavor is much stronger, I might actually like the blueberry one the best. Then the strawberry and the apple the least. That's not to say it's bad or anything. They're all good. Or at least I like them all. So, yeah. If you see any of these at your Costco, um, it's a pretty good deal right now. Only 16 cents for one of these bars. Not bad. Um, give them a try. Costco has a great return policy. So if for some reason you don't like them, you don't need to worry about it. And again, if you own a store or something, you can like sell these all individually. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.